Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all of my crew members who I call my subbies and welcome if you are watching me for the very first time and you've never seen me. I'm Desiree Marie and I do all sorts of videos. I mainly do lock hair videos where I bring you guys along with me as I maintain, wash, and style my hair. I practically bring you guys along with me through the ups and the downs, the challenges, the triumphs, in the shower as I'm washing my hair. Great in-depth, detailed videos about my lock journey. And I've been locked for about two years now. So if you're interested in seeing what my journey looks like, definitely do hit the subscribe button. Um, it's free, it's fun, and you'll be automatically in with the crew. Yes! But anyway, guys, welcome back to another lock video. So I just thought I'd start off with a little bit of an update. Update number one, hair growth. Guys, I mean, one of you guys said, every, it seems like every time you come here on camera, your hair grows like an inch. And I am starting to see that may maybe that's true um, my hair has grown a little bit longer I realized that um when I did a ponytail this week like it looks a little bit longer than it did like the last time I took a picture of my ponytail like I really l legit took my camera and took a picture of my ponytail just to compare the growth from um, the last time I took that picture to today and it looks like it has grown maybe about a half an inch already um, this week and the week before I pretty much have left my hair alone every single day I've been wearing a hat on my head because number one I have not really touched up or retwisted my hair number two I have not curled my hair and I've just been busy and just not um, interested in doing my hair uh, life has been busy and just a whole lot of things that I've been thinking about um, so my hair kind of took a back seat but um, yeah so I pretty much left my hair alone didn't curl it didn't style it I've been working out so I believe that my hair has gotten the rest that it's so desperately needed um, and it's a good thing because I have not been manipulating it and putting it up and stuff. The only time I really put it up is just before I work out or if it just gets annoying and I just want to put it in, you know, take it out of my face. Um, but yeah, I've been leaving my hair alone, not manipulating it, styling it. I have not used any type of edge control. So yeah. Um, another thing I've been doing is using the wild growth oil. Let me show you. I've been using just a little bit of this, uh, maybe like once, once a week really. I've been using this um, on my scalp, applying it on my scalp, and applying it on my edges. If you guys saw my last update, I talked about my edges on this side, how it looked like you know it, it looks like it needs to be filled in a little bit more so I've been trying this out and um, I'm going to do a whole different video on that um, updating you guys on my edges <laughs> and my situation with my edges but yeah this has been really great with um, really great for keeping my hair moisturized during these cold days um, it does have like a, sm a slight smell that I don't so like but once you get past the smell, it's good. Um, I also previously talked about a hair oil that my mom put together, um, including the ingredient ginger. Uh, is it ginger or garlic? I think it's garlic. And that was pretty good for my hair. Um, aside from the smell, it really kept my hair moisturized. But th these last two weeks, I did not use that. I only used the wild growth oil, just very sparingly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. My scalp is feeling great. I've been drinking water like crazy. Every day I try my best to drink at least one liter of water. Maybe not so much on the weekends. I kind of take a break from that. But Monday to Friday, you can see me with my <laughs> one liter of water in hand, drinking it all day. So um, for that, I believe my hair has maintained moisture. Um, and also with me spritzing my hair every day and putting this every so often in my hair. My hair has maintained its moisture during these winter seasons. But it does have like a little smell to it and that's how I know it's time to wash. Yeah. And 
for the fact that, like I said, when my hair is talking to me, telling me it needs to wash, it looks a lot skinnier. Like each lock looks skinnier. It looks a little flatter, a little thinner. Um, so I know it's in need of a wash. And what the wash does for my hair is it just re-expands my um, locks and just gives it back its vitality and its alive look. So that's what I'm gonna do today. It is almost winter time. We're almost at the point of winter time, official winter time. So with that, you know, you have to kind of change up your hair regimen and do what is best for you in that season. So now that we are in clo uh, coming close to winter season, especially here in New York where the weather has been a little bit more on the chilly side, I have been trying my best to um, moisturize my hair every day, like when I wake up. And get myself together um so what i want to do is something that i've done months ago i mean it's been it's been like almost 10 months since i've done this i want to do the bentonite clay mask um if you guys have been rocking with me this far you know that i've done it i did it last when in like uh march i think march but I'm gonna do it again today, and I'm gonna do it here on camera, show you guys as I do it, and all that good stuff. So um, let's just stop stalling and get to the hair mask. I'm gonna show you exactly how I mix it, as I apply it in my hair, my washing, and all of that good stuff. So let's just get into the kitchen. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is the um, bentonite clay that I'm going to be um, mixing together and this is from Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. You can also use this on your face and your body. Um, so I'm guessing that with the remainder of um, what I have left in this, I'll just go ahead and use it on my face and do like a little spa, a DIY in-home spa. Um, so I really don't have the measurements but I'm just doing this by eye. Um, should probably just use the rest. Hmm, yeah, I'll use the rest of this. I don't really have much left in this. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and put water into it. Now, if you're making this at home, you want to avoid um, mixing the bentonite clay with a metal spoon or anything that is not plastic or wood because um, I read online that if you do use metal to mix this up it actually does something like chemically that takes away from the effect that the bentonite clay will have on your hair and your face it goes against the detoxifying like agents so just to be safe get yourself a wooden or plastic spoon to mix and a um, Tupperware like this or a wood bowl if you have that at home. All right, so let's just uh, come right over here and put a little bit of water into this. I'm using cool water, by the way. And I'm just going to mix as I go because I don't have any like sure measurements. I'm just gonna go according to what, according to what uh, looks right with my solution. You probably should add the water in very slowly because um, it clumps very fast when you mix it. Um, so it's like you have to mix and then add a little bit as you go until you get like an even consistency. Right now it's still clumpy so that means that I still need to add water. Add a little bit more and mix. This could get a little bit um, messy so just make sure to cover the surfaces around you um, especially in the area that you are putting this in your hair. Um, for me I know I'm going to have to take out the bath mats uh, because it could get messy. Ugh, it's already splashing like on my robe. Ooh. Uh. 
But as you can see, the consistency is changing. It's looking a little bit looser. So I'm just going to continue mixing it and like uh, breaking apart the clumps. Making sure everything is mixed in well and there's no powder residue left. Alright guys, so now that I have washed my hair and it has gotten the chance to dry just a little bit, I have my mixture right here um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my hair but um as you can see i have a towel around my shoulders because like i said this can get very messy so you definitely want to either wear an old shirt that you don't really care to get dirty or have a towel wrapped around you um but it could get as messy as you make it so if you're like all sloppy all over the place yeah it's gonna like be all over your walls and ceiling but you can be very careful about this and kind of eliminate uh, the craziness that would definitely, well, normally occur. Okay, so what I wanna do is grab my um, banana clips and clip my hair out of the way. The hair that I am not using right now, I'm gonna clip that out the way so that applying the bentonite clay mask would be so much easier for me. All right, so I'm gonna start with the back, as I always do. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> Ew, it feels so gross. Okay, once you get past the feels, the um, like mushy, gross feeling, um, it's all right. So this is my second time ever doing this, and um. The first time I did it, I, I was really, really nervous because um, I've never put anything like this in my hair and I was very, very afraid that it would stay in my hair and um, make my hair look dirty like uh, like I had build up. But um, I've learned some things from that experience and I'm going to make a whole separate video on the do's and the don'ts of doing this mask and other hair masks that I've done um, but yeah so yeah I'm just putting it on my hair from top to bottom and like I said um, in a previous video too that if you are dealing with buildup or dirt um, issues in your hair um, molds and whatnot doing a hair mask like this helps to lift up the dirt that is trapped inside of your locks you know because locks are so easily um they they get dirty very easily they receive a lot of things from the environment if you work in a dusty environment they get in your hair and they can get trapped in your hair all right um so when you do this you want to leave your hair alone because your hair will get stiff fast and um, moving your hair around is actually going to cause your hair to break so you definitely want to just leave your hair alone After, as soon as you do this just leave it alone let it fall on your back or uh, put it in a plastic bag or a hair net cap whatever and leave it alone until it's time to wash it out it feels yeah it is making my hair feel heavy um, so that's why you don't want to touch your hair too much. I do want to get the back, back, back part right there. And then with the rest of it, I'll just put it on my face and do a face mask. So uh, this is good for your body and your hair. Ooh. So now that I know I look like a, a wildebeest, we're finished. I'm just going to get my nose without touching my nose ring a little bit. <laughs> and we're good. 
So I'm going to keep this in my hair for about 45 minutes and then I'll come right back to show you guys uh, the results. Oh, and another way, <laughs> I should have said this in the beginning of the, the video, but another way that you can mix this is with um, apple cider vinegar. So instead of using water to mix the bentonite clay um, to make a, a mask, you can also use apple cider vinegar. But I did that the last time and that actually felt like it was burning my scalp and my face. I'll never do that again. I don't know if maybe I used too much apple cider vinegar but that is not that is not what I'm trying to do again um, so yeah all right there we go I'll come right back as soon as I wash it out and show you guys the results stay tuned hey guys so I just finished washing my hair for the second time um, I thought I was done the first time after using the bentonite clay but I saw that my hair needed to be rinsed more so I decided okay go back in the bathroom and put my head under the faucet and just take some more time to rinse and just um, you know just go through each lock rinsing each lock and gently pulling down so that the buildup in the dirt can be pulled and you know helped out of my hair so that was not an easy process. I thought it was I thought I was done, but obviously you need to take a lot of time whenever you do this to your hair because the last thing you want is build up in your hair because of the clay mask. So it takes a while, um, but you you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You just need patience and time. Um, so I think I did a good job rinsing out the clay. And yeah, I'm just gonna allow my hair to air dry for another hour or two and then moisturize my, well, I'll probably moisturize it before uh, it's fully dry and then um, air dry and probably put some curls into it or something. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like for now. And I'm happy with the results as I was last time I did this. And I don't think I'm going to do this again until like deep into next year. So yeah, we're just going to kind of put this on the shelf until next, next year, you know. But yeah, these are the results. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I hope that I did a really good job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. If you are not subscribed, definitely do hit the subscribe button. So we can talk more about hair like I upload pretty much every single day um, about my hair and I also do fun little vlogs so that you guys can kind of get to know me and my day-to-day -day life um, yeah so I don't know what else to say if you guys have any comments definitely do leave them down below let us know any tips that you have about how to um, different tips that you may have that maybe I left out of this video or any other clay or regular hair masks that you recommend for locks let us know down below and maybe I'll try one of your hair masks one time you know anyway I don't even know how to end this video anyways <laughs> thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one bye